That's about as good as it's gonna get. What's up guys, Zonic back 111, and if this is not dedication, then I don't know what is. It is currently 12 degrees outside with a feels like negative two on good old Apple weather. Wish you brother luck. I'm gonna be honest guys, I kind of fumbled the bag. I have not uploaded the past two weeks. I kind of took for granted how awesome it was having my basement in Ohio to be able to do videos. Uh, it has been snowing, I kid you not, almost every single day in Indiana the past week and a half, and I just had to get you guys a video, so here we are. Casualties of war. Seriously guys, I love you or I would not be doing this video, so if you could run the likes up, that would be awesome. Every single person that watches this video, unless you live more north than I do, you have to leave a like. So if you're anywhere below Indiana, if you're like the Minnesota people, go ahead, you don't have to. But if you're anywhere south, you must leave a like. Alrighty, so I got a ton of stuff loaded here in Indiana. Up first, we have an Evike mystery box. So I ended up ordering, this was like the last mystery box. I think this was like their New Year's mystery box. I got some stuff from China, some really cool gear as well. And then I also have some accessories. So we're gonna do the mystery box last, just cause I know you guys love mystery boxes and so do I. Alrighty boys, up first I promise this is not crack cocaine, it has been security checked from China. They ripped it open, did some little checks on it to make sure that it was not illegal. Like you guys have seen in the past few videos, I have been getting some stuff from China. I am working on opening my own retail website in a sense. So I've kind of been scouring for a while now to find like the best optics, the best certain things. And up first we have a Repro Haley's Strategic Chess Rig. These are the old school Haley's rigs. And this is in multi-cam black. Wow, that pattern looks super, super good. It definitely is not gonna feel as high quality as the real one. Does not have any trademarks or anything on it, but man, this is awesome. I used to run one of these real Haley's rigs for a long time. I still have one, to be honest. It's like my favorite chess rig in the world, but I do not believe they release a real one in multi-cam black, and I just love multi-cam black, so I decided to check these ones out. And so far, build quality looks really, really good. Get the good old test real quick. For those of you that are not familiar, basically a Haley's rig has like four M4 pouches. You got two pistol pouches here. You got kind of a bigger admin pouch if you want to put something like an IFAC or something in here. It also has some sort of sleeve, which is pretty cool. Um, but you can basically put anything you want there. And then this one's like a radio or grenade pouch, I believe. But honestly, you guys can use this for whatever you want. I just really like the multi-cam black and hope you guys do as well. These versions also come with the multi-cam black dangler. So those will go like right here. I run a fanny pack every single time that I play airsoft. Some people think it's super cool. Some people are like, oh, that's dumb. But it is so helpful running a pack down there where I can put my phone, I keep patches for you guys. I'll keep like uh, extra batteries right in there. It's just really nice and easy to be able to access stuff quickly. If you have not done it, I highly recommend trying it. Up next, we have another wonderful China package. You can tell by the yellow right here. This is like their tape that they use for some reason. The boxes literally all look the exact same. Ooh, and up next, we have some super cool red dots. One of my favorite repo red dots. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of forgot that I bought a bunch of these. I was really, really looking hard. I ran one of these like four or five years ago, and I just absolutely loved how they look. This is a Trigicon repro of the SRS. Look at this bad boy. I don't know about you guys, but I think these SRS sights look so, so cool. I got one of these about like four or five years ago, and I don't exactly know how I ended up getting one, but I bought it. And I was like, man, this is super cool. And so I was looking back on it. I was like, I kind of miss that red dot. And so I ended up buying like 10 of them. Um, I really, really like how they look. I also really like how big the field of view is. I have a few real Trigicon optics, but it is just not worth using a real optic and airsoft. I've had like four red dots shot out in my lifetime. And if that happens to like a $500 optic, obviously not worth it. So you can get one of these bad boys for like, probably like a fifth of the price of the real ones. And these are pretty high quality repros from what I can tell. The other one I had did break after like a year. It kind of spun around and so the red dot like spun. Hopefully, I did abuse it though. So I, it honestly was went through a lot of American Milsim events with me. So hopefully these ones will do well, but it looks like it's a lot higher quality than the last one that I had. So I'm excited to mess with it. Alrighty, next up I got something actually pretty cool. Something that I wasn't 100% sure on or how it would work or whatnot, but I got some repro charging handles. So these are like repros of the Geisley Airborne charging handles. These actually look super, super good. I ended up buying a real one for one of my 
ARs, and then I was like, huh, it'd be kind of cool like with an airsoft one to kind of see how that looked in an airsoft one, because obviously real ones do not work on airsoft guns just because there's different things, but these actually feel like they're pretty high quality. I got the blacks and the tan, so these are just going to go meet me and my buddies probably. I probably will not list these, but these actually feel really good, and I was just curious kind of how they would look compared to my real one and just kind of how they would use, because that'd be really cool. I want to model my airsoft gun off of my real rifle in a sense to kind of keep everything familiar. And I love the kind of wider grip this. Obviously, you're not charging your Polar Star at any point, but they look cool. Seriously, like I said, if you love your boy Alex Mack, please support, man. That is just the snow that has formed on the top since I've been out here. My poor handsies. It's all right. We good. We're going to push through this. Um, I love the Evike Mystery Boxes. You guys know this. I have usually gotten decent stuff. I've never gotten anything really special. But last unboxing was definitely one of the worst I got, so maybe Evac was watching, and maybe they're like, all right, we're gonna give Alec Mack the sickest box ever. Here we go. Ooh, okay. All right, up first, uh, first thing I saw is in good old XDM. I actually think I got one of these two boxes ago. I think I got the compact version. Ooh. Okay, so this is like the uh, the silver XDM. I think these are these are OEM by Air Venturi. I don't know if this is like a VSC repro. I'm not 100% sure, but it says it's OEM by Air Venturi. So obviously Air Venturi is just a marketing place for those. They don't actually make any of the guns themselves. So I believe the OEM may be, you guys might be able to correct me. It could be like AW Custom or it could be um, VFC. But man, that silver looks really, really good. Look at that. That is sweet. Silver XDM. It's almost like a like a gunmetal silver, kind of like it's not like super bright. It's almost like a matte in a scent, but it's kind of glossy too. You guys see the reflection off of it? I really like how that looks. It does look like the trademark at the top did not get fully stamped on there. I don't care a ton. But I actually gave one of these to my buddy Charles in a mystery box that he got. These are sweet. So maybe the next round of mystery boxes I do, one of you guys will get this bad boy. This is a beautiful, beautiful pistol. Um, I really like the button releases on the XDMs. I think they're awesome. I actually have not shot a real one, but the sights are super cool. You got a fiber optic up the front, and then on the back, you got two white dots. They just feel really high quality. I actually really like the grip. It does have like a beaver tail safety as well, which some people like, some people don't. But if you're gripping a gun, the beaver tail doesn't really matter that much. But I really like it. This one is the full frame one, so I've only held a compact one. I have held a real one that I think that was full frame as well, and I really like the texturing. I just feel like it's comfortable. I also really like the angle on it when you're gripping it. Oh, baby, up next we have a Taurus PT-92. Check this bad boy out. That is cool. Uh, Soft Air USA licensed product, 377 feet per second. So that means they're shooting like maybe 230 with a .2. I give it maybe like 230, yeah, we'll say. I don't know why they do the whole, if you guys are young and you think that FPS is all that matters, some of the best guns out there are Tokyo Marui's and they shoot like 300 FPS. Some of these kids are like, oh, my gun shoots 475. Bro, you maybe shoots 475 with a .2. One two, but if you're shooting a shooting a point two, it's probably like 350, maybe 330 or something like that. FPS really does not matter at all, though. It is more so about the quality of the gun and the parts that are inside it. A little rant from Alec Mack. Says this one was the box of awesomeness New Year's celebration. Like I said, evike.com little hex pack shoot better, and we have some sort of rifle, I believe, at the bottom. I'll let you guys see it before I see it. Here we go. You guys can see it before I see it. How do we do? Do we do good? If it's another Thomas, I'm chucking at the woods. How we do? What are we looking like? Three, two, one. FN Herstal. Okay. So I think this might be one of those like cyber gun FN Herstal guns. I'm going to guess a uh, P90. Maybe a Scar. Frick. I'm going to guess P90. Guess comments. Type in your comments below right there. What do you guys think? Three, two, one. Three, two, one again. Oh, it's an F2000. Okay. Wow. Alrighty, so this is an F2000. I don't know if this is one of the G&G &G ones. I don't think it is. Yeah, there's no way this is one of the G&G &G ones. Those G&G &G ones are super expensive. I did not know that they made a cheaper version though. Definitely cheaper version with the box. Um, does not say the branding or anything. I don't know who OEM Cybergun, all these different licensing and stuff now confuse me, but dang, that is pretty cool. It actually feels really good as well. It definitely feels a little bit cheaper, I think, than the G&G &G external version. I can't feel anything with my hands right now, to be honest, so I don't really know if it feels cheaper or if it's actually cheaper, but I think it feels cheaper. The red dot is definitely looks a little different than the G&G, &G. so if this one is a G&G, &G, that is an absolute score, but I would guess that G&G &G would have some sort of trademarks in it. it does say licensed by FN Herstal, you can tell right there. It does have the full trades, which is really cool. I don't think that the G&G &G ones actually had full trades. 
Yeah, they could have the license as well, or they could have used to have the license before whatever this one is made. This is Energy One Jewel Max made in China. This is kind of throwing me off. I don't remember, remember the Flash Rider looking like that, but this is a pretty solid setup. These are so interesting gun-wise. For those of you that do not know, a bullpup is anything where the magazine is like in the back of the gun. So basically it allows you to have a shorter gun and it's kind of behind the trigger. And so you have a shorter gun, longer barrel, and it still is able to kind of fit in a smaller package. So if you're getting out of vehicle or something like this, I've always really liked that 2000s. Ever since Modern Warfare 2, the gun was kind of trash booty cheeks in that game, but it was actually really cool to play with and it was really fun with the fire rate. I think SureShot Midge that loved it a ton. You know how much he loves his fire rate but it's a pretty solid box. I will take it comes with like a basic battery and charger so that's why it would make me assume that it's cheaper. If guns ever come with like these setups where they come with the cheap, I think it's 8.4, actually it's might be 9.6. Yeah, 9.6, 1100, and then this, you know, oh my gosh, that is so cheap. Yeah, this is definitely not the GNG higher quality version, but it is a nice pull nonetheless. But this has been Alec Mac one-on-one. -on -one. I cannot feel my hands, but I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Those of you that are consistent, I love you guys. Seriously, if you're at the end of this video, I love you guys so much. You are the ones that make me do what I do. And even though missing two weeks, like, I man, I was so, I was like, man, I need to upload. I need to upload. And so I'm out here. I'm out here for you guys. But this is Alec Mac one-on-one. -on -one. Love you guys. I will see you on next week's video. I can't, I can't feel anything. Oh, it's so cold.